Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how I got these curls on my twist you guys know i did micro mini twist recently so i've been doing a lot of experiments with my twist so i decided to put them in rollers and this is what i got I'm going to show you guys how I did this twist. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Turn on your notification bell so you be notified for when I upload my videos. And without further ado, sit tight and let's jump straight into the video. If you haven't seen my previous twist video where I actually show you guys how I did my twist, the entire process and everything, definitely watch that before you watch this one. Click the add top if you want to watch the video. Since I did my twist, I've really been enjoying them. Like, I've been wanting to style them in so many different ways. Um, I didn't stretch my twist last night before I went to bed. So they are a bit, not even a bit, they are quite shrunken right now. But it's fine because I'm going to be putting them in rollers. So that's still going to give them some stretch. Okay, so I'm going to be basically using water, mousse, and leave-in conditioner to do this. And I'm going to be using this um, TGIN leave-in conditioner. Then I'm going to be using this TGIN mousse. Okay, now I'm just sectioning off my hair. I'm going to start at the back, so I'm just going to tie the rest of my hair up. I actually couldn't decide between the black one and the green one. The black one is slightly bigger, but I feel like I, I want the curls to be kind of tight, so I'm going to just go with the green ones instead. So I'm going to be splitting this section into three. One, two, yeah, this is enough for three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm keeping away two of the sections and I'm going to start by moisturizing that section. So I just take my spray, spray bottle and spray some water on the section. Next, I take the leave-in conditioner and apply that to my hair. Next, I'm going to take some mousse and apply that to the section as well. I was scared that my twists were going to lock as I was doing this, but they didn't lock. It was easy for me to take down my hair. But anyway, so I just roll my hair flat on the roller and then secure it. So that is it. Very easy, very straightforward. So spray some water. Let it be damp, not soaking wet. Apply the leave-in. And apply the mousse. And then roll my hair flat on the roller starting from the bottom. So that's the back done. Now for the front part, as you can see, I'm deciding where my part is going to be. So I wanted the side part, so I'm marking out the side part now. And I'm going to roll the left side going to the left side of my face and then the right side going to the right side of my face. You guys will see it as I'm rolling my hair. So I'm just going to section off the left side now. And we're going to work on the right side. So I'm just going to go ahead, spray my water, apply my leave-in, apply the mousse and then roll my hair. So please pay attention to the direction I'm rolling my hair in. This is the front part. So the direction you roll it in is very, very important. It's going to set the shape of how the um, style comes out. So please, please pay attention to this part. So I'm rolling another section. Like I said, pay attention to how I'm rolling it. I'm rolling it flat. Going towards the left side. And that is how I'm going to roll all the hair that I have left. away from my face towards the left side. 
well if you're facing the other direction it's the right side but it depends on where you put your parts so yeah so just make sure you roll it flat away from your face so I'm doing the last one and that is it that is all my rollers I think I had about 15 to 20 twists per ruler so it just depends on the thickness of your hair that will determine how many you do and I didn't realize that I left out one piece oh that was so annoying I hate when this happens but anyways I just used a small pink ruler to get that section so I simply tied my hair with a satin scarf and then I went to bed and this is it the next morning I'm about to start taking out the rollers pretty soon make sure that it's completely dry okay guys so this is it's the next day um i left it dry overnight and yeah this is how it's looking in the morning so i'm about to take it down now and i'm going to be obviously putting some oil on my hands to reduce friction on my strands and all of that so just take a little bit rub that on my hands and we're about to start taking this down i'm excited i can't wait to see how this is going to look i'm really really excited <laughs> <sighs> okay let's start let's start let's start this thing better come out nice like if it doesn't look nice i'll be so mad oh okay <laughs> is it dry okay it's, it's dry Ooh. Ooh. okay wow okay all right, all right, all right, we move. Whenever you're taking your hair out of rollers, you have to be very, very careful so it doesn't break your hair. I need to start using end papers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my God. I put some oil on my fingers and now I'm about to start separating the sections so basically just separate the sections into about one or two twists that is going to fluff it and give it volume be very careful at this part you don't want to pull your hair it looks like I'm pulling it because the video is going fast but just do it gently so that you don't break your hair The more I separated, the nicer it looked. It was looking so nice and I was so excited. I didn't expect it to come out this nice at all. Okay, so I'm done fluffing for now and I realized I should have redone my front twist because the parts had become a little bit rough as you guys can see. So I'm just going to roll some of my hair to the back and like pin the side. And then go ahead and use edge control to kind of clean up the edges because I didn't redo my twist so that the parts will be more defined. So this is what it's looking like after I cleaned up that side. And I'm still just going ahead to fluff it some more and give it more volume because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm just going to put on my favorite earrings to complete this look. And this is... I don't even know how to express how excited I was when I was done doing my hair. I did not expect these results at all. I, I literally just woke up that morning and decided to roll my twist and I'm so glad that I did. This style is absolutely gorgeous. It's in my opinion one of the best hairstyles I've ever done. If you haven't seen my previous video where I showed you guys how I actually did the twist, definitely click the eye at the top to watch that video. This is all my hair. There's no added hair here. I really love this thing. God, I do not expect it to come out this nice. Ah, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. Mm. I, I, I need to go somewhere. I'm not good anyway. I'm about to go and wash off this makeup now. See that in my house. Oh God, this is so nice. This is very, very, very nice. And it has a lot of volume too. 
Oh god. If you want to see more pictures on style, definitely check my Instagram. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like the style. Let me know if this is something that you would try. Like I said, I have a previous video where I showed you guys how I did the twist in the first place. Like the entire process. So if you haven't seen that, um, you can click the add the top if you want to see that video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on this side. Also, do not forget to watch my other natural hair videos on this side. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!